Uh, moving on, in New South Wales, there's currently a major review of water security, and some of the solutions being discussed might make you feel a little bit gross. After 13 years, the drought is finally over. But now the New South Wales government is looking at how to secure water supplies for Sydney beyond 2025. And all options are on the table, including the introduction of highly treated recycled effluent, or sewage, for drinking. What we absolutely need is cost-effective, reliable water supplies. And the technology that we've got today enables us to do things like recycling for drinking. But how does it work? Wastewater from our homes is first treated to remove the solids, before being sent on to a recycling plant to be separated from any leftover nasties. It can then be added to our reservoirs and finally go through the same treatment as all drinking water. But will people actually give it a go? Maybe not so much for drinking, but for other purposes. Just like a lot of the things that we eat, if people don't know where it's coming from, they're happy to consume it. I guess depending on what kind of filter system it went through. I wouldn't drink that water. <laughs> no. It's worth noting that the idea is already being trialled in Perth. And in Singapore, more than 30% of all water comes from recycled waste. It's called New Water. Whatever happens, we need a good plan now. Population growth and climate change is set to stretch water supplies in most Aussie cities in the next 20 years. So, do we even have the option of being squeamish about where our water comes from? Adam Lovell is the Executive Director of the Water Services Association of Australia. Adam, part of your job is developing the water quality guidelines for Australia. Is the quality of recycled and purified sewage really good enough to drink? Absolutely. Uh, Australians' drinking water quality at the moment is uh, you know, rock solid in terms of its risk management. And those risk management guidelines are, are applied straight to the recycled water for drinking water as well. And so it's really important now that we have that time to engage with the community and see whether they're ready to, to take it on in their drinking water supplies. Sydney's got a desal plant worth $2 billion at Kernel sitting there doing nothing. There's a $5 billion desal plant being built at Wonthaggy in Victoria. Why are we even having this discussion? Oh, I think it's really important. I think, uh, if anything, uh, the situation in Perth should show the rest of Australia that we're never too far away from, from drought and from drying out. And uh, we're looking at a portfolio of, of approaches. So we need to diversify our supplies. But Adam, Adam, that's a actually... very expensive insurance policy, $5 billion, $2 billion, $3 billion. I mean, we've gone over the top, haven't we? If we'd just bought, built more dams, we wouldn't have the problem. Well, I think, the, I think the insurance policy will be worthwhile in the end. I mean, when they built the Harbour Bridge, did they think they needed eight lanes of traffic in that time in 1932? Adam, you're a nice guy and I believe you, but this is a PR nightmare, mate. I mean, I weed in a water bottle on the weekend and my wife wants me to throw that bottle out, you know what I mean? <laughs> how can we sell this? Well, how do you separate the poo from the product, mate? <laughs> well, look... It takes, now's the time, I think, uh, and I think on the East Coast, now we've got some time. Water treatment for many Australians, it's still a bit of a mystery for a lot of people. So you've actually got to see there, you've got to see the water treatment um, happen. And, and once you've seen it and heard it and smelt it, then you can, you can understand and, and have a bit more trust, or a lot more trust, that, that recycled water will be safe for drinking. And if we've travelled overseas, I'm sure we've drunk far worse. Adam, thank you so much for your time tonight. Absolutely. No problem, thank you. Steve, would you drink new water? Yeah, I think so. I don't think I'd have a problem with it. I'm more worried about D Dave peeing in the know, bottle. Why are you peeing in a bottle? I was stuck in the car park of a football stadium. Oh, my gosh. And I had a newspaper on my lap. Anyway, let's not get into this. Right? <laughs> You're arguing about whether you should throw the bottle out. It should be gone because by now. Because it's a beautiful Tupperware bottle. Oh. What did you do? Did you carry so... it home or...? Well, let's move on, all right? Of course I carry it. I'm not going to litter. Yeah, we did have a web poll on this, but uh, I think we had the wrong question, apparently. <laughs>